So hello everybody, my name is Jamie Life and welcome to The Walking Dead, Season 1. Now I already played a bit of uh, Season 2 a couple of years ago. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are. That's a very long time ago actually. But uh, now I have access to Season 1, so I'm very excited to get started. Let's go. I really do love the art style of this game as well. It's different, but I like it. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh... Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time. Every time? Every time. I don't know if you around. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Uh, what do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that, even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? You yeah, sure? Sure. No? Regardless. Could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> oh, come on, you should have said that. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over, right where you sit. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. Uh, this one's uh, a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Oh, shit. This other time... <laughs> uh, why did I choose that option?
Are we dead? Okay, now we're not dead. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Where's the cop? Oh. Okay, so there's, there's a shotgun there. Why the hell did he have his gun out? It's a good, it's a good question. Um, ah, window. There we go. I'm thinking we should grab the shotgun. Can we do that? Can we just can we grab it? Can we just pick that up? Looks empty. Oh, that's great. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Right, so. Oh, this. Oh, hello. There we go. Now, now pick up the shotgun. Looks empty. I, no, I just got a shotgun shell. It'll be easier to carry with these oh, cuffs on. What was over here? Is this like a flashlight or something? Do I have to walk over here? Oh, I can't get to it. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, let's have a look at the cop. Oh, he's got the keys. Uh, there we go. Oh, shit! Good job. Pick up the keys. <laughs> the other one. There we go. Oh. Officer. Oh. The gun. The gun. The gun. Where's the gun? There. Get away from me! Oh, come on. Don't make me do this! Oh, <laughs> 
What happened to that little girl? Hello? Anybody? Um. Oh, there we go. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Uh, what's, what's that? A tea set? Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. <laughs> Help! Let's go inside the house. Can we do. Oh, hello. What was that? Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Rubbish. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's a cup of water. Yes, I'm thirsty. Give me the water. Don't know why they just leave a cup of water sitting on the side, but yeah, we'll go with it. Uh, it sounds like a. Is there like a walkie talkie somewhere? Or? Aha! Hello? You need to be quiet. Okay, I'll be quiet. Uh, who is this? Who is this? I'm Clementine. Oh. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. I know where I 
parents are. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm uh, pretty old. Thirty-seven. Okay. Uh. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, you knew it was there. You avoided it just a second ago. Was the babysitter. Did you kill it? Yes. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Uh... We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. I just said stay close to me, you run off. Where am I, I that's not where my stick's pointing. What, what is wrong with my, hang on. There we go. That's a slight bug there. Can I get in this garage? Is that, th is that a thing? Nope, can't get in the garage. Oh, there's somebody th is there's somebody there? There's two people there. Uh, uh, oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Uh... I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Uh. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. 
We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Uh... I'm just some guy. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming up. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Oh, I've got to push it again. That's a fucking time gamble. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a sniff. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Uh... Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? I didn't. I didn't. Well, now's the time. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. <sighs> How'd this happen? Uh... Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? Before the car accident. Uh... I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. Uh... I'll be honest. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking... First thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. 
I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Uh... I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be <laughs> preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow? Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of The Walking Dead. If you liked it, hit that like button, hit that J to subscribe to my channel, and as always, I'll see you all next time. Oh, <laughs>